Hello, how are you guys doing today? So for this week, you might be thinking, oh boy, another painting video. Well, you're wrong. I don't blame you for thinking that, but this week we're not painting because I am finally doing something that I've been wanting to do, okay? I already filmed the part where I had biked to the store, but what I was planning on doing for this week's video was getting a white sweatsuit that cheap at like family dollar or something and trying the thing where you tie dye it. And I wanted to tie dye it to look like that one really popular sweatsuit from Pretty Little Things right now. I don't know if you, I've seen it on TikTokers and stuff. Uh, if I can find a picture, I'll include it, but. It's really cute and I really, really want it, but it's always out of stock on Pretty Little Things and it's also expensive. It's not even expensive, I just don't want to spend money on it when I could try to make it. Unfortunately, the family dollar that I went to didn't have anything white, so I decided like, you know what? We're just gonna try that other one, which is the black kind of outfit. You can make a black two-piece with bleach that a lot of people on TikTok and whatever have also been doing that one. So I just wanted to try it, you know what I mean? Because it's a pretty nice day today. Went on a nice little bike ride, um, stopped by family dollar on the way, and now we're here. So basically, in shorter terms. What I will be doing today, so I'll be wearing sweatpants and like a t-shirt that I would like to be cropped uh, black with bleach spots on it and I want it to look a certain way. And I just wanna see if I can do it. Cause if I can do that, then for sure I can try to do the pretty little things thing someday. All right, so we're about to bike to the store to go see if they have any of the stuff that I need to do the project that I wanna do. And there's Lonnie. Okay, so we're taking a little rest stop at uh, a local pond. This is everything before cutting. They're just regular family dollar pants. Here is before bleaching. I just cropped the shirt. I'll probably fold up the sleeves permanently by like sewing them or something. This is the plain black shirt. And I'm about to go outside and bleach it. So it'll be super cute, we hope. What I usually do when it comes to tie dyeing and stuff is like scrunch it together so that it's lines going up and down. So I'll probably Join these together with a band, join this together with a band, blah, 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 all the way down so that the lines will go down. And it kind of accentuates, you know what I mean? It makes me look taller, it accentuates any figure that you might have. So that is what I'm gonna do. I forgot to film kind of the beginning of this part, but I've already got part of it kind of looped off. I don't really, so let me tell you a secret. I don't know what the point of putting rubber bands on something is when you're tie dyeing it. I understand it to keep it in a certain position for when the tie-dye goes on, but some people really are just like, oh, let's just put rubber bands all over it without like knowing what their design for their tie-dye is. And I don't really know if that does anything. Maybe it's because they think that it'll stop the dye or something, but I don't think that it does, especially when you do it like really loose. I'm not doing this very tightly. It's gonna be asymmetrical. It could be really cool, maybe. Yeah. Are you scared for me? I did tie a tie tie tie. Maybe I can get lines coming like from down here going up here like this. I don't know how long to actually leave this in either. Okay, so I'm outside now. This is my house. I'm wearing an outfit that I don't mind getting bleach on. So like if you notice my pants that are like my pajama pants, don't worry about it. Okay, so we're in my bathtub. I saw another video. Here's a glass, here's the bleach. I don't know if I should shake it up or if that's like a volatile um, bad idea. Well, here we go then, huh? How exciting. Wow, it does smell like bleach. It smells like a pool. Oh, you got bleach on my hand. Oh no. It do kind of be stinging though. Or is that just my fear? Oh no, I'm literally missing the pants. I'm wasting bleach by missing the pants. Oh, I love to pour bleach onto the bathtub instead of the cloth that I'm trying to bleach right now. In. I literally can see it sitting on the fabric and not going into the fabric. Or the top is like way lighten, it's lightening, but it looks a lot lighter than the like lightened parts of the sweatpants. Okay, so this is the final product. 
the shirt it's like orange and then the pants like bleach spots are all gray so i'm like i'm not mad at how they came out i think they came out cute so i made it high-waisted i might retry again with like a different like sweatshirt top or like i might crop a hoodie i think it might be the material difference that might be why this is happening first reading is does it look like what i wanted in my head no i thought there was going to be way more on the top and also that the top was going to match the bottom so like these are gray patches these are orange patches i really really wanted them to match and i can't believe that they're not matching I said i really want to try it again i really want to um get it right so that i actually have like a two-piece set that i because if i had a piece set like this i would wear it for sure and plus you know this is all like practice for me to try to make that one other two piece set that I really wanted to make from before. So that's okay. I'm not too worried. You know, this is a fun project. It was different than painting. Um, I would have loved to have painted. You know, this is something I wanted to do, you know? And I'm going crazy from school. It's my last week of school. So I needed to take a break. I needed to do something else. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. I do post weekly videos. They're mostly painting videos. Cause you know, this channel is just a boredom channel. Thank you so much for watching and I guess I'll see you later.